Apex Nation, you yes, see the pinkish purple lights, you know what that means, it's time for some more Doki Doki Literature Club, hope you guys are having a great day, it's the plus version, just to let you know, make sure you scroll down, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, check the description for amazing places for you to visit, and leave a comment down below, oh, uh, just, just leave one, but anyway, let's play some Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And the game starts you here now. Just interesting. It had like the whole like booting up an old school computer type feel to it. And it has you here. So I have nothing new. Oh, there is a new picture. There was a new picture last time before I exited. Because when I hit quit, I hit no. Gave me an achievement. And gave me this sketch. kind of cool so let's play some doki doki ledger club do i remember the last thing we did yes we gave the poem or we shared our poem with yuri now we gotta what that was quiet that was the quietest doki doki i've ever heard now we're here hint you could use skip button to fast forward through text you've already read shut up <laughs> so now we gotta go give our hmm our poem to people next okay so they said Natsuki or Yuri said Natsuki is probably gonna be very critical of our poem right so she'll be the next one we give our poem to yeah Natsuki let's go to the vampire in the closet oh you're not in the closet anymore that's right huh uh apex if you're not gonna take this come seriously, then go home. But what? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? I did, but not for you. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I like to read it. <laughs> painful to think about uh fine well sorry you'll get better anyway i tell you what to improve but you're better off just trying again wow fair enough harsh but fair well to each their own i guess anyway i guess i gotta share mine now knowing you you'll probably think it's stupid should i even read it Nice, neat penmanship. Eagles can fly. Fact. Monkeys can climb. Fact. Crickets can leap. Fact. Horses can race. Fact. Owls can seek. Fact. Cheetahs can run. Fact. Eagles can fly. You said that already. People can try. It's true, but that's about it. Ouch. <laughs> listen, people do good things every once in a while. Just don't listen to the news. It's a very straightforward poem, isn't it? It really is. Listen to the music. All right. He, yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. It's easy to understand. Things do what they're meant to do. People suck. What? Just be honest. I, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Listen, you use big words, you're going to lose me. You use small words like eagle, can, fly. I gotcha. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style shouldn't... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Listen, it didn't hit me hard, but yes, it's easy to read. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. 
that's what you were going for? Now that you said it, I can see it. But I don't think of it that way. If I see a bug doing a bug thing, if I see a bird doing a bird thing, that's just them. But all right. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand now that you explained it. But the other nice thing about simply writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but they made it fall flat on purpose. You were going for a rhyme? Did not notice. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. That's true. Your last line was impactful. Okay. Okay. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. You're a first year. Get over yourself. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not, vampire. I decided to humor her with the last comment. <laughs> I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Listen, you need to care about how old people are. Everyone's 18 or older. We were told that when the game first started. Right, you know, that wasn't as bad, right? Sayori, my high school friend, childhood friend, I meant to say. Lie to me, tell me it's amazing. Uh, this is a good poem, Apex. <laughs> I know, thank you for lying. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. You clean my room. <laughs> but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Hey, I was going to impress Yuri. Did you see how close we were just a few minutes ago? I mean, come on now. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. I read that sentence terribly. Moving on. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Listen, I'm not going to forget you lured me in with a cupcake. And then I met Yuri. So you know what? Yeah. Thank you, Sari. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Listen, sentences are not working well for me. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? Okay. It's like I said before, Apex. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? I clean your room. You know I'm not selfish. Try new things like this one for other... What? Try new things like this for other people. That's something only a really good people can do. There's no A there. My brain sucks. <laughs> Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees full picture. Sees the full picture of my motive here. Get close to Yuri. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. That's true. She offered you a cupcake. Now, whether you thought that was food or... It's up to you to decide. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? You sat in a corner giggling for half of this meeting. Ah, well, actually, thank you for that because I got closer to Yuri. That will be my way of thanking you. All right. Going to hold you to that then. Hand over your poem. Yeah! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Oh, this handwriting's gonna suck. Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. Hee hee hee. We'll see about that. No! It's not bad. It's actually fairly close to mine. Scribble, scribble. I mean, when I try. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? 
Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret. But I trust you too. <laughs> What's a secret? <laughs> but if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, first half. Seems like you did very good. And then you did good here. You know, but then you lost me here. Well, it's a secret, but I trust you too. And then if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. Dead. But I'm not mad. I mean, th that's that's a true statement. If it wasn't for the sun, we would all probably sleep forever. Dead. Because we would have no heat. And this planet would freeze over. And we would die. So she's very, very true on that statement. And she's not mad about it. I mean, how could she be mad? The sun's, not, the sun's not a living entity that we know of. It could be. You never know. It could be the leader of the Illuminati. You never know. And she wants breakfast. Straightforward. Is she asking me to make her breakfast? No. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? Uh, no. I, just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. We walked home together. You figured that's something we would have talked about. You figured you wouldn't have forgot to do this. Well, at least it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> Thank you, Sayori. <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. It did it. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounded just like you. That's again very mean. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last one. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Perfect excuse for a teacher. I can't be mad at you. You're in the important central of the day. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. Why you bring up her? But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Wait, am I just writing poems this entire game? Well, I guess I look forward to it. So I probably should have taken a screenshot of the things that Monica likes. Oh, I could save and exit out and find it. I could do that. All right, class, uh, uh, club pres. Hi. That, that, hi back to you. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, yeah, talk to each other as a group, not single out. There you go. I'm always listening. I don't think you are. I think you're giggling in a corner. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. You know you have a vampire in your class, right? Club, right? Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. <laughs> I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settle in. And I like the flow. The flow is everyone leaves me and Yuri alone. It's a pretty good flow. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? You aren't even an option for me to write the poem dedicated to you. So I think you're just going to like it. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess so. There she just sticking her butt out again. Ha, 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 ha. Don't worry, Apex. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Also, I did see, I think it was like a couple weeks ago now, that Doki Doki announced that she's the first figure they're making. And she kind of has that pose because she's posable. 
And she kind of has this type of pose available for you to do. But it's more like chibi form of her, not like an actual lifelike form of her. A hand, Monica, my poem. Ah, great job, Apex. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. I wish I knew what my poem actually said. It's really metaphorical. Sure, that's what I was going for. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. <laughs> Listen, I was just trying to get Yuri's little figure to jump. I guess I underestimated you. Thank you. It's, it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectation low. That is true, because then they are expecting nothing from you, and then when you do greatness, it's like the world exploded. That way, always counts when I put some effort in some effort. Butt sticking out. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I know. She's the first one I showed it to. Writing that full of imaginary and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness and hunger. Yuri likes it when readers are left to desire their own meaning out of it. Derive. Okay. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it. Or... Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never asked though, because y'all don't talk. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. No, don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find a kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you most. Oh, okay. So every activity we gotta do, you're never going to be an option. You're always gonna be there to tell me who likes my piece of work the best. I gotcha. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. But I do. Ah, ha, 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 look at my butt. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Why'd you get into like a fighting stance almost? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. You are probably writing in like the most perfect calligraphy, cursive writing there is. This is gonna suck to read, isn't it? Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Oh, I hope you have chicken scratch. Give me chicken scratch handwriting. You have to sound confident, you're smart, or you're popular. That's right, they use the word popular. Please have chicken scratch. That would be so perfect. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, that's not bad. All right. Hold in the ball. It could have it couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes, a nosy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel, blind, like a fl film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Ugh. I always scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forward into everything. Forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now. That I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Dude, you got a pervert living on the other side of that wall. That's a peephole. 
that is you cover that up and call the police. That that's a pervert staring at you. And it's too late, your retinas. Did he have his wheelie out? Be honest. Of that meaningless image. <laughs> just think of that now. <laughs> it's just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, I really hope our character takes it down that route. That this is just a pervert who put a peephole. Oh, God. So, what do you think? Oh, I hope my character thinks what I think. Um, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. No. I want to know where that hole is. Is it in your bedroom? You need to cover that hole up. That is, a lot of poems have been put in emphasis on timing between words and lines. Also call the police. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, oh boy. Oh, strap in. Here we go. Well, I'm not sure how to put it. Oh, guess you could say. I had some kind of epiphany, epiphany recently. What do you mean? What? It's been influencing my poems a bit. Uh, an epiphany? What? Yeah, something like that. Explain. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up a bit. Tidy it up later. Anyway, another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Or, if your pen's not writing like mine wasn't last night, and you take a lighter and light the tip of it to try to get the ink to flow again, don't hold the lighter there too long, otherwise the pen goes boom. And then you have ink everywhere. <laughs> and you have a mess to clean. <laughs> so, just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Hey, I was grooving to the music. Whew! Guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's just that everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. I don't think they judge you too harshly. I mean, Vampire did, but just put her back in the closet. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. Sigh. I guess that's why I ended up getting... What? I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily giggling. Back in the corner they go! My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. I and Asuka to get back in the closet so I can spend a long time with Yuri again. Oh. They gingerly exchange, exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Asuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Big words. Sound them out. You'll get there. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> Too simplistic. <laughs> you do her complete opposites. What's with this language? Uh. Um. Did you say something? Oh no, it's nothing. Asuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling of giving up. It was? It was a bird's a flapping, bugs a hopping, 
people suck. Right? That's what I got. What you guys get? How can that be cute? Uh, I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. <laughs> Meaning she had nothing nice to say. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Club Prez, need you over here. You need to defuse. Thanks. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Try words with more than two syllables. Or, you know, more than five letters long. Um, huh, uh, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. She likes everything. And it, nope. Leave my name out of your mouth. I, no. Yuri is, no, I, I would never disagree with her. So based on that, I'm glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. <laughs> I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Apex liked my poem too, you know. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Getting thrown in here. You even, he even told me he was impressed by it. Okay, listen. I just read three poems today. Yuri, I read yours yesterday for me. About 24 hours ago. Maybe more. I don't remember it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nasuki, Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh, crap. Uh, where's the door? We need to go. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, listen. While you were in the closet, vampire, we were shoulder to shoulder, turning pages together. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, huh. That's not what I... You, you, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Uh, okay. Uh, things are happening. <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous that Apex appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Ah, and how do you know he didn't just appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Y you Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what a sentence. What a sentence. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Apex started showing up. Oh, you got accused of stuffing. <laughs> it's so key. Oh my god. <laughs> the instant regret. Um, Nasuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I, I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly both girls turn towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Oh boy. Okay, dude. You got some, uh... Got some choices to make here. Ah, uh, Apex! She... She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. You can't take criticism. If she could just get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. You need to be open about other people's interpretation on things, and you need to not take criticism that harsh. What's the point in making your poems all conv convoluted for no reason? The mean is you just jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Listen, it's not your style. That's all you gotta say. It's not your style. You don't get to be mad that someone else has a different style than you. You listen, people are different. Help me explain that to her, Apex. 
No. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. That's the wrong word to use. You understand that, right, Apex? Um... Well? Jeez, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Do I actually have to choose here? Because, I mean, I'm choosing Yuri. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? You stare, dude. You should have gone to the closet. It's not like I know anything about Raiden. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <gasps> Do I get a choice? Yeah! <laughs> I get a choice! Suck it, vampire! Get back in your closet! Yuri. Natsuki! Game? I clicked Yuri. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Oh, dude, preaching the words I preached. That's not what happened at all. That's exactly what happened. Sit back down. Stand up at me, vampire. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Um, I understand. Yuri? Eh, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. But, but, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nisuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Uh, I see. I didn't notice that I... Uh, I'm sorry. You... you... But, Nasuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are, are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that- Nasuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. And you also weren't listening to me. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Nah. Nasuki clenches her fist. I see that. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Ooh! We just ticked off the vampire. That's not a good thing. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. That's true. Push back. If you push people into a corner, they're going to push back. I ended up feeling bad for her. I mean, I do, but also she's being very stubborn and not seeing that people's point of view and refusing to apologize. I know someone like that in real life. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go twinkle in the starlight, in the daylight, where, as I said, I'll s it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. God, she's not that happy. Without warning, Nasuki snatches up her own poem from the desk and storms out. Yo, Prez, you didn't handle that very well. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Ah, oh, please someone, someone's going to take that out. That's okay. She really need, need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares at, down at her desk. Uh oh. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. What? No, I chose your side. What? No, Yuri. How could anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? Not gotten frustrated, but treated like that. You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. But, well, all right, I believe you. Yeah. Thanks, Apex. You're too kind. I know. 
I'm thankful to have you as part of this club now. Yeah. So both your boobs growing a size bigger since I showed up. Have they? <laughs> Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they are going to mention it. <laughs> um, That one thing that Suki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. <laughs> so, uh, please don't say you've noticed. Please don't say you noticed. Don't be that creep. What thing did... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what thing did Natsuki say? Ah, uh, uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Uh, yeah, good idea. Make enough for one more person, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, everyone. My last vampire. It's just about time for us to leave. No, wait a minute. I didn't think of this. Well, again, I'm thinking of high school. This is college. I refuse to accept anything else. Because I know, like, in high school, if you had clubs or anything that you started, you always had to have a teacher's approval, and you always had to have a teacher there. Whether they stay for an extra hour, hour and a half, whatever it was going to be, to grade papers or do whatever, prepare for the next work while you had your club in that classroom, but you always had a teacher present. Do you not have to here? I, well, I assume so. You don't have to have, to have a teacher here. Usually, that's how it goes, though. But all right. But I assume they're all over 18, right? So they're all adults. They can do whatever they want. So, yeah, ignore that last statement, I guess. It's about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? That's where you're going to go? You're not going to talk about the argument and how we can handle that better. You're going to gloss over that. Okay. It was a lot of fun. Well, I say it was worth it. It was worth it? You made the vampire mad. That was worth it? Huh! <gasps> Vampire's back. Oh. Oh, she snuck up on us. Oh. It was all right. Well, mostly. Apex, how about you? Yeah. I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. It's true. We did get to learn a lot. But we also made a vampire mad at us. Awesome! Do we have another assignment? In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Prez. Come on, girl. That's what you do. Do that. Come on. Be creative. Give us a new assignment. How about a short story? Instead of a poem. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. Ah, oh, we're all friends. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes? With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself. With newfound determination. Apex. What? You want to walk home again? Ready to welcome? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. What's she beam? What? Why? It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I thought you cleaned her room. I imagine you say, man, your room's a mess. I might tie it up and she just see you. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. All she does is go sit in a corner and giggle with a prez. Sayuri. But what happened earlier? Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Nasuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's not, that. that's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. Once a vampire. She shrunk. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, 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 I don't hate them. I just like Yuri better. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Pew. You know, Apex, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in this club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Well, I mean, that was quite apparent. Well, maybe not the press. 
but I know you like me, childhood friends. Those two fought over me, so you know, we know that. The prize, though, she kind of just like, I'm here to tell you who likes you the best, but I don't. <laughs> That's uh, hee hee. Every day is gonna be so much fun. We meet every day. <sighs> Looks like Sari still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. So if you chose to like keep on making Sayori, like choose to make Sayori the happiest during those poems, would these change? We might have to do some extra stuff after we do a blind playthrough. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more what I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an eternal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. He just got fired up. Alright, we got a poem to write. Now do uh want to save the game? I do. I should have thought this through and saved it the first poem and saved it the second poem. But I'll just save over this. And exit Doki Doki. Because it goes here. And then if I go files, attributions, right? No. No, 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 no. Game? Poem words. Sayuri is not who I want. Nasuki's not who I want. Yuri's is who I want. Oh, crap. There's a lot of words. So, wait. How's this work? Word. S point, N point, Y point. Which one's better? I imagine since happiness is a three in the first one, like, that three's better as you get going down here. Oh, they're all threes, but... Yuri has some ones and twos and twos and ones and twos and ones and ones and ones and ones. She doesn't have many threes. She's also got disaster as a two, one, three, nine, fifteen. One, okay. She doesn't have any threes. How does this point work? Because we know she loves horror, so why is that a Wait, Sayuki, you start with an N, right? Yeah, Nasuki, Sayuki, Nasuki, uh, Yuri. <laughs> that makes more sense. Because years are in the middle. Yeah. All right. So I need a screenshot of that and then unstable. Uh, unstable screenshot of that, and then time screenshot of that. Okay, so now they will go onto my second computer here, my recording PC. Uh, picture screenshots. Okay, okay. All of that open. Is this gonna? Oh, wrong keyboard. Perfect. 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 All right. So now let's go back to Doki Doki Ledger Club. Doki Doki. <laughs> it said doki doki. <laughs> Alright, I'm just making sure I have all of them right there. Alright, uh, load the game here. So, this is going to take us a little bit, but we're going to make the best poem we can for Nasuki here. I'm pretty sure Misfortune is going to be one. It's not alphabetical, unfortunately. So I really have to just scan them. Do, 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 do. Misfortune is not one. Hopeless? Hopelessly says a little jumpy skippy too. Oh, she likes to wear lust. 
Wait, she doesn't have any of these words. Do, 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 do. She's got to have one of these words, right? You're really going to make me have to pay attention, huh? Did I miss one? Bet I missed one. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm going to have to look. Give me a second. Okay. I found it. Insight. I just got to go a little slower. So insight. Oh, I think uncanny was one of hers. Ba, 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 ba. Or heartbeat disarray. Infernal. Oh, infernal might be one as well. So inferno or uncanny. Inferno or uncanny. Inferno. I see inferno, but is uncanny as well. If uncanny is more at the top, I'll probably do that one. Yeah, uncanny is more at the top, so we'll do uncanny. So I'll just go from the top down. So sadness won't be her, anger won't be her, nightgown probably won't be her either, but maybe. Ooh, it might be nightgown, nightgown or vibrant. So difficult. <laughs> Doing this is so difficult. I wonder if I could do it better. Uh, give me a second. Found a better way. <laughs> Now I can see both words side by side. It'll be a lot easier. And it gives you guys something to look at as well. Instead of me just looking over there. It doesn't mean I'm going to be good at this. It's warning you now. It might take me a couple times to find something. Wait, Aura. No. Unstable. No. I thought I saw Aura there. Nope. All right. Keep looking. Do, 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 do. Wait, uh, vivid. No, vibrant. Oh, vibrant. Vibrant right there. Vibrant. So she has vibrant. Yeah, so we'll go vibrant. Okay, vibrant. Oh, we know disaster, right? That was right there. Disaster, yep. Disaster is a word for her. Email friends to the incident cloud. Defeat. Probably defeat. Oh, wait, lust. We know lust is there. Lust is right there. Lust. Horror. Dream faster, comfort, pop up, determination. Infinite? I think infinite was here. Dude, yeah, infinite's right there. Infinite. Unstable, happiness, vivid. Crimson, crimson's probably one. Do, 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 do. Unstable, though. Might be one as well. Crimson. Daydream, puppy, pleasure. Pleasure, I think pleasure was one. Cute is definitely not one for her. Depression also might be one. Do 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 do. Vertigo. No, I think that was the last <laughs> last page in Vertigo. Uh, disarray. Did that was out of here? No, it was not there. Do do boo. Ba, do, 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 ba, ba, da, do, do, ba, ba, ba. Tenacious or unstoppable. No. Or unstoppable inferno. No. Agonizing. No, that wasn't there. My brain does not work this fast. Uh. Lust is there. You figured pleasure would have been there as well. Do 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 do. 
I, I'm sorry it takes me so long. I missed it. Whatever it was, I missed. Okay, what are the words again? Daydream, puppy, pleasure, playground, rose, and fly available. Probably available is probably on here. I just missed it. Depression, sugar, precious, cute. Pleasure? Pleasure. There it is. Pleasure's right there. Pleasure. Bam. Uh, Whisper, Pure, Graveyard's probably there. I think Climax also might be there. But I want one that's up with this one. If I can. Oh, was this page okay? <laughs> uh, dang. Climax. I see climax. Okay, we'll go climax. Bam. Treasure play ver vertigo. I think we saw vertigo. I'll check. But I'm pretty sure we saw vertigo already. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Vivacious. Vertigo. Uh, Frightening, I think's on there. Massacre is probably on there. If Massacre's on there, I want to use Massacre. Massacre. Uh, boop! Come see somebody ex explode. Probably explode. Incapable might be on here as well. Thinking about that. I don't think Clumsy's on here. It's going to be explode or... Incapable. I'm hoping for explode. Incapable. I see incapable. And I see explode. I'm going for explode. Spinning judgment portrait. Uh, probably judgment. Rainbow pain. Pain's probably on there. For sure. Pain. Although pain's a feeling and Sayuri is more of the feeling one. So maybe judgment. Do 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 do. Eventually, I'll get used to the words that are on here. Some of them are easy. Some of them are difficult. <laughs> Judgment. I see it. Fear is most likely the one. Yeah, I imagine it's going to be fear. Fear or alone. Sorry, I moved away from the mic. Fear or determination. Sorry, my clock is having some Okay. Just trying to scan him real quick. Raindrops? Rain cloud. A tone? This is a lane. Crap! I missed it! Uh. Secretive? Did we miss the word secretive? Oh yeah, secretive right there. Secretive! Uh, philosophy, melody, uh, FG June's happiness, anybody to cover the uh, misery. 
Although, philosophy, probably. Here go. There's philosophy. I see it right there. Bam! Fireflies, marriage, time, universe, games, uncontrollable death. But it don't know. Giggle! <laughs> oh, essence, right there. Essence is here. So, essence it is. Entropy, swimsuit, tenacious, extraordinary, extreme, hurt, saying existence. Yeah, existence. Bam. Perfect. Scars, whirlwind, meager, holiday, understrained, shiny, disoriented, peaceful, dark. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think scars is on here. I don't recognize the word scars. Whirlwind, maybe? Yeah, whirlwind right there. Ducky, ducky. Broken calm, peace, raindrops, embrace, summer, question, atone. Raindrops. I think I've ever seen raindrops, but it might be better. Or? No. Do, 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 do. Raindrop. I'm gonna go raindrops. Boom! Give me that achievement. Perfect Yuri. I knew it was an achievement. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we gotta end the episode there. That took nine minutes. Boom. Say well. No. If I say that's a second poem. Nah, screw it. I can hit skip dialogue. It won't take me long to get to the point. We might get all the achievements in this game. Not sure what we're gonna do yet. Might buy the game on Xbox and get all the achievements that way. Just for that series I'm trying to work on a little bit. Oh, that was cool. We did it. I, I like that. I like having that there. But I am going to make another episode right now anyway. So I don't know why I save. But I save for fun. Because fun is fun. Anyway. Take it away. Outro me. This episode has been a lot of fun. Come back for the next one. It'll be a little shorter. Because we've done that. And this one's probably just going to be reading the poems. And hopefully the vampire didn't bring in a knife. Although she's a vampire, why does she need a knife? You never know. Thank you so much for watching that video. And if you liked it, make sure you give that video a like. And also comment down below. And while you're here, subscribe for more amazing content. And go check out another one of the gaming videos over on this side. And then you can click up there. Wait up there. Boop, boop. And you can subscribe. Or head over to my hobbies channel over here where you can watch me paint Optimus Prime. You know, the Transformer, more than meets the eye, over there. And also, subscribe by clicking up there. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Y'all stay positive. Thanks for watching.